Hi everybody, it's Miss Lai. Today we're gonna to be extracting some DNA from strawberries. A couple things you'll need, a Ziploc bag, two strawberries, ooh, juicy. <laughs> okay, some dish soap. Oh, <laughs> a measuring cup, some salt, coffee filter, water, and two cups. If you don't have strawberries, that's okay. You can use any fruit or vegetable you have around. Um, some good ones are gonna be plum, lettuce, banana, cabbage, zucchini, strawberries, anything you want, or your spit. So I don't need these tops of my strawberries, so I'm just gonna pluck those off and de-hair them. Is that the right word? <laughs> no. De-leaf them. De-leaf them. <laughs> okay. Now they're bald. Now they're bald, yeah. Okay, and then I'm just gonna stick them in my Ziploc bag and mash. Oh. Ugh. Oh, careful. Don't let the bag bust. You're gonna smash for about two minutes to break up the plant cells and release the DNA. I forgot to mention, you're gonna need to put your rubbing alcohol in the freezer, so I'm gonna go do that. So it's been about two minutes, and it looks like this. Um, it looks kinda like jam. As much as you wanna eat it, try not to. Okay, and then we're gonna make the DNA extraction liquid. So in your cup, here's my cup, we're gonna be adding our dish soap, our salt, and our water. We're going to add two teaspoons of our dish soap. One. Two. And then we need one teaspoon of salt. And then we'll need half a cup of water. Okay, so here's my water. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now you're just gonna stir it up. It smells clean. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna add two teaspoons of our liquid into our strawberry bag. Now we're gonna reseal it and mush it up more. About a minute longer. Um, it says to avoid making soap bubbles. I don't know how to do that, but. <laughs> how do you avoid making soap bubbles? Like, is there a technique to do that? I don't know, I did that. Am I doing a, <gasps> No, you didn't do it. <laughs> Why is she leaking? Because you didn't do it all the way. Okay, perfect. <gasps> <laughs> I'm gonna just pretend that didn't happen. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> so now we're just gonna get our cup and we're gonna filter out all of the chunks. So now you can get your coffee filter. If you don't have coffee filter, that's okay. You can put it through a strainer bounty um dryer sheets that's a good one cheesecloth whatever you have okay yeah. t-shirt a t-shirt that's a good one too okay so we're just gonna put it through here oh no <laughs> okay now you can either just stir um and <laughs> Then you can either just stir the mixture so that some liquid comes out of the coffee filter. I busted the filter! <laughs> hey guys. Hi. We're just here to tell you that if you're messing up on this experiment or failing at it, it's okay because your teacher is too. 
I'm gonna try this again. <laughs> so I'm gonna use a sieve to filter out all of the chunks and hopefully we just get some juices. Oh my, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, that's not bad. I'm just gonna get a spoon and try to mush down. Um, that's a lot of juice. <laughs> There's a drop coming. There it is. <laughs> there it's got absorbed. So I'm just gonna do this until I get as much juice as I can out. Okay, so I think I'm done collecting my strawberry DNA and I've got about this much. You may have more or less and that's okay. Um, so you may be thinking, Miss Lai, I don't have any fruits or vegetables in my home. Well, an alternative is you can use your spit. So you will have to be a little bit hydrated to collect this much spit, but if you work on it all day, <laughs> by the afternoon, I'm sure you'll have enough spit. <laughs> <laughs> so I poured our DNA mixture to this glass just so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pour equal parts of alcohol um, into your glass. So however much DNA you've extracted, you're going to put that much alcohol in there. Our recipe calls for isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol, um, but those are kind of scarce nowadays. I'm using acetone, um, but you can always open up your liquor cabinet, take out the moonshine, take out the vodka, the Bacardi, whichever one is a strong alcohol that's going to be okay for this. Um, just make sure it's chilled. Okay, so I'm going to add... Um, this is child proof. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to add some acetone. Um, so we won't really need too much for this. And you're just going to let it sit. So I think that's good enough. And you're just going to let it sit. You're not going to stir it or anything like that. And then we'll come back and check on it, okay? Within a few minutes, you can see a layer, a cloudy layer forms on the top of our extraction. All of that cloudy stuff, that's gonna be our DNA. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna get a wooden toothpick, a popsicle stick, a coffee stir. You're gonna tilt your glass and you're just gonna collect the DNA. You can wound it up. Ooh, ooh, whoa, this is really good. Okay, we're just gonna put it on our dish and we have our DNA. It worked. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at that. That's crazy. So we're gonna look at this under the microscope. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna look at this under the microscope. <laughs> Come on. Okay, you know what? <laughs> you can get a better look at your DNA using the app Supervision. I recommend turning on the flash for a better picture. You can use the cursor on the right hand side to zoom in and out of your DNA. In the top left hand corner, you can also change the lens to a black and white view. When you are happy with your image, click the lock icon and take a screenshot of your image. Upload and share your microscopic photo. Good luck and have fun.